Bree. Hello, welcome to story time provided by the Child Advocacy Center of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay, the book that we're reading today is The Technology Tale, a digital footprint story. It is written by Julia Cook, illustrated by Anita DeFalla. Hey there, I see you. It's me, your friend, the screen. Please don't post those words. I don't like to be mean. Whoa, who's there? It's me, your screen. Screens don't talk. I do. I talk all the time. And I have a lot to say. If you hit send or post those words, you will ruin your entire day and your entire tomorrow too. Huh? Why? Because it will hurt your tail. My what? Your technology tail. I don't have a tail. Yes, you do. Everyone does. It follows you day and night. Everything you pass to others through me is attached to your life. Everything you post sticks to your tail and becomes a part of you. Once you hit send, it's on there for good and there's nothing you can do. Seriously? I thought you knew. Nope, didn't know that. Just look at your tail. See all these things. These are gifts you have given yourself. Your tail gets a gift when you post something nice or when you use your words to help. But when you post things that are hurtful or mean, your tail gets a bruise, scratch or tear. Then others feel bad because of you and the mean things you've chosen to share. And since I'm stuck in the middle of it all, I turn into a ir irresponsible mean screen and I worry about that a lot. What really stinks about my job is that over time, people start to develop keyboard courage. What's that? It means that post things online that they would never say or do to a person face to face. And some of that stuff can be really mean and inappropriate. Did you know that every time you post a put down, the person who gets it needs 10 pull ups just to feel better? That's 10 sincere compliments for just one put down. That's a lot. I am a screen. I see it all. Everything you send goes through me. See, there's that picture you posted last week when you and your friends climbed a tree. Now that was a blast. This one's neat. It's a wonderful gift. It's that picture you took of a stray. You did all you could to find the kid, kitty at home. Now that was a really great day. Here's all the selfies you took with your friends on the day when you went to the mall. I can't believe how happy you look and your friend of yours is so tall. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, how come I didn't get a gift for that one? Well, you left out one friend on purpose, then posted pictures to put her down. My friend watched her face when she saw them online and her smile turned into a frown. Oh yeah, she told her mom about it and her mom called my mom and I got grounded for two whole days. If you were my kid, I would have grounded you for two years.
Well then, it's a good thing screams don't have kids. Hey, this wasn't a mean post. How come I got a scratch for it? Because it made the person you sent it to feel bad. Well then, she read it wrong. Some people are so sensitive. Yeah, that happens a lot. Unfortunately, I can only post words and a few symbols, not the human expressions and hidden meanings that go along with them. Talking online is easy, but it will never be as powerful as face-to-face -face communication. Hopefully, you humans will start to realize that. What's this? That's a hole. How, how I get that? Holes come from posts that are not very smart. Like when you share test answers and language arts. You know about that too. Yep. You got this hole for posting your address online. Now that wasn't very smart. And there's where you announce to the whole world you're heading to Yellowstone Park for 10 whole days. What about this one? Oh, that happened when you shared your password with your friends. Now, why would you go and do that? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Your password is private information between me and you, not you and the whole white world. How can I possibly protect you when that happens? Question mark. There's no way you know about all of that stuff. Oh yes, it's not just me that knows. The people who know where to look can find everything you've ever sent. It's like all you have done in a book. Passwords are top secret. You have to really think about what you're doing. When you're posting online, because that technology tells of yours will follow you throughout time, you'll end up dragging it along every single day. And believe you me, a wounded tail will surely get in your way. How? A technology tail that is bruised, scratched, or torn tells others that you are unkind, that you won't want to hang out with you, they won't want to hang out with you, and because they're afraid of what they might find. Schools will tell you no. Whenever you try to apply, all the scratches, bruises, and tears on your tail will show them You've made others cry. Denied. When only hired gift technology tales. When employers see holes and wounds, they won't want to hire you. They will assume you're irresponsible online and that you say stuff that's mean and untrue. Right now, your technology tells pretty good. You've posted so many great things. If you keep it up, you'll be surprised by the gifts a great tale can bring. Nice. Move over, tail. Here I come. Like that? Like what? Like a good right now and an ever better later and a much happier screen. What's posted today will matter tomorrow. It just isn't all about now. You have to think past the end of your nose and I can show you how. Put on a pair of thick gloves. Before you touch the keys, they'll filter out the stuff that's not good. They look a lot like these. Is it true? Is it helpful? 
Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? How do you, how do they work? Ask yourself these five questions. Think before you post. And if you honestly answer yes, then post, forward, text, send, and tweet away. You don't, you won't even have to guess. Think before you post. Think before you send. But if the answer to any of these questions ends up being no, let the think glove stop your posts. Hit delete is the best way to go, delete. Always remember you are in charge. You choose what goes on the tail. If you filter your words correctly, your actions will never fail. Then I won't have to worry about being the irresponsible main screen ever again, which will make my life and yours a whole lot better. Thank you for joining us at the Child Advocacy Center Reading Time.